Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Abs, and today we're going to talk about how to undertake an abdominal examination in a remote consultation. Be cautious. Many patients will need an assessment in a face-to-face -face appointment if they have an abdominal complaint. But if you've got lower abdominal pain and typical symptoms of a UTI in a non-pregnant woman who is otherwise well, then maybe you can try antibiotics and some strong safety netting. Or maybe you've got a young patient who's had some diarrhea overnight, some griping pain that comes and goes, but they're otherwise totally well and they're still eating and drinking. Maybe you can ask them to drink plenty of fluids and give them a follow-up appointment the following day with some strong safety netting advice. Remotely, there are some abdomen, abdomen specific examinations that you still can do. Even the patient who you're bringing in for a face-to-face -face appointment later that day will need a review at the moment that you see them online to assess for peritonism. So ask the patient, stand up, step back so that you can see the face and abdomen and ask them to suck in their abdomen and then blow their stomach out. Watching for signs of any grimacing because grimacing suggests peritoneal involvement. A peritonitic patient needs to attend hospital immediately. They shouldn't be referred for a face-to-face -face appointment at the GP surgery, even later that day. With abdominal pain, patients can usually reliably indicate where they experience the pain. It would be more accurate if you ask them to stand up when they show you on the camera. For palpation, the patient should be able to palpate their own abdomen if they're able to get into a position where they're able to relax. If they can't relax enough to, to palpate themselves, a family member can help. Abdominal pathologies can often present with vague symptoms at the start and then worsen. So assume every patient with abdominal symptoms has a serious pathology that is developing and then you can safety net precisely and appropriately. Even if you're inviting them to come in for a face-to-face -face assessment, you need to consider that they might get worse before the appointment, so don't forget to safety net them too.